Good morning, and thank you for joining Frederick County Public Library's virtual programming. While our branches are closed, we hope you and your family enjoy these videos daily and our daily story times every Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. as you look for new ways to explore, invent, and transform at home. My name's Miss Deb. You might have seen me at the Thermont Regional Library, but today I'm bringing you a special guest. Ms. Christy Vaughn with the Maryland Coalition of Families. She's going to talk to us about how to be braver, smarter, and stronger during May Children's Mental Health Matters Month and at this time of staying at home. Christy, welcome. Hi, thank you for joining. Thank you for allowing me to join today. Hi, everyone. I'm so happy to be here. My name is Christy and I work for MCF which stands for Maryland Coalition of Families. We are a nonprofit organization. Uh, my job is to help families who have children with behavioral and learning um, needs. My family has had similar challenges and I have learned how to work with schools and other systems to get my kids the, need, um, the services that they need to be successful. So our services are free to all families and I would like you to come and um, come talk to me and find out ways that I might be able to support you during this time. Um, we also would like you to check out our website, which is um, www.mdcoalition.org, and there you'll be able to find a lot of resources. Um, we also have a website we'd like you to check, which is um, www.childrensmentalhealthmatters.org. Both sites have a wide variety of information and resources to support families. Okay, so thanks, Deb. That was great, Christy. What great resources you have available for our community okay. at this time. We think it's important maybe to explore our feelings. So I brought a great book that I wanted to share with all my friends today. This is The Feelings Book and it's by Todd Parr. And we thank Todd Parr for allowing us to read his books while we are staying at home at this time. Do you all see these faces on the front? Can you tell what they're feeling just by looking at their face? Yeah, I think he's happy. Can you see his tears? I think he's a little sad. Ooh, maybe a little grumpy and definitely surprised. Sometimes I feel scared. Little mouse is scared of that kitty cat. Look at those big teeth. Sometimes I feel like standing on my head. That would be silly. Sometimes I feel like reading a book under the covers. And she is, she's reading the feelings book. Sometimes I feel like celebrating my birthday, even though it's not today. That would be fun. Sometimes I feel brave. Look at him. He's dressed up in his superhero costume. Do you think you could dress up like that and feel brave today? I think you could. Sometimes I feel like looking out the window all day. That would be a good day, especially with it being sunny. Sometimes I feel like dancing. Look at them cut a rug. Can you dance? Show me a move. That was a good move, thank you. Sometimes I feel like making mud pies. That looks messy. Sometimes I feel like I have a tummy ache. Look at his little tummy, it's hurting. And he has a frown. That's probably not a good feeling. Sometimes I feel like holding hands with a friend. And sometimes I feel lonely, like I'm the only one. Sometimes I feel like yelling really loud. Do you ever do that? Does your mouth get that big? Yeah, I've done that before too. And sometimes I feel like staying in the bathtub all day long. That would feel really good, but I might get a little wrinkly. Sometimes I feel like trying something new like skateboarding while walking the dog. 
And sometimes I just feel like dressing up. That makes me feel really special. Sometimes I feel like doing nothing. Have you felt that way? I have. Sometimes I feel like camping with my dog in his house. That might be fun to do on a nice evening. Sometimes I feel like crying. He dropped his ice cream cone. Sometimes I feel like eating pizza for breakfast. And sometimes I feel like kissing a sea lion. I think I would like to do that. That would be fun. Sometimes I feel like a king. Have you ever felt that way? Like on top of the world and you could do anything? It's a good feeling, isn't it? Well, no matter how you feel, don't keep your feelings all to yourself. Share them with someone you love. Love, Todd. And Todd Parr drew a little picture of himself to remind you that these feelings are all oh okay to feel and we need to share them with someone we love that was great i have a little rhyme here that i would love to do together we'll do it two times so that you can see it and then you can do it with me okay so first of all can you make a little heart with your hands look at that that's nice we could put it over our heart okay it goes like this i have a little heart it goes bump 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 good job it keeps right on beating when i jump 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 you could jump in place the next time we do that okay i get a special feeling this is my special feeling okay when i look at you it makes me want to give you can you hug yourself you got it a hug or two. Caregivers, this would be a great time to give your little ones a big old hug right now. Let's do it again together, okay? Get your hearts out. Here we go. I'm going to connect mine. Here we are. I have a little heart. It goes bump, bump, bump. It keeps right on beating when I jump, jump, jump. I get a special feeling when I look at you, you know what comes next? That hug. Get your hugs ready. It makes me want to give you a hug or two. A hug usually makes me feel much better. Now I have a song and I think you might know this one that talks about different feelings. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Wow, what is another feeling we could explore? Hmm, maybe angry. Can you show me an angry face? Let me see if I can get one. Oh, yeah, that was a good angry face. Lots of good angry faces out there. And sometimes when I'm angry, I might make a fist, stamp on the floor. So why don't you do that with me? Let's do it together. Ready here? If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. That was good. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're angry and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. And it's okay to be angry and it's okay to show it, but we want to share our feelings with our caregivers of why we're feeling that way so that they can help us. How about sad? We saw the picture of the little guy feeling so sad with those tears. Can you show me a sad face? 
That was good. That was a lot of sad faces out there. You guys are really good about that one. So how about if we say boo-hoo for this one? All right, here we go. If you're sad and you know it, say boo-hoo. Boo-hoo. If you're sad and you know it, say boo-hoo. Boo-hoo. If you're sad and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're sad and you know it, say boo-hoo. Boo-hoo. We can't end on that note. I had a good hug earlier and now I think I'm feeling much better. So let's do silly. What would be a silly face? I can't wait to see all your silly faces. Let me see them. Okay, all right, here's my silly face. All right, so let's make a silly face. If you're silly and you know it, make a face. If you're silly and you know it, make a face. If you're silly and you know it and you really want to show it, silly and you know it, make a face. <laughs> what did you think about that, Miss Christy? We were really exploring our feelings, weren't we? Absolutely. Miss Christy has a great activity that you all can do at home. The directions are posted in our Facebook link. And Miss Christy's going to show us what you can make at home to help you with your feelings. Hi, guys. I'm back. Okay, so yes, yeah, so we are going to go over how to make stress balls. And stress balls are really good, well, obviously for stress. Also, they're good for building up your hand strength, concentration. So, but today we're going to make feeling stress balls. And I'm just going to go over it quickly because, like she said, the directions will be linked for you. Um, my kids had already made some for us. So we have a, uh, I think he, they, they told me what this one, oh, unsure. His feeling is unsure. We have a red guy who's feeling a little angry. We have our yellow happy guy. And I think what was the other one? Oh, pink. Pink was surprise. Oh, and of course, blue is feeling a little blue today. So we're just going to have a real, if you don't have Let's say a funnel, we need a funnel. You could also use a water bottle and cut off the top. Have mom help you, mom or dad help you. And so you could use things to fill up the bag like flour, lentil beans, rice, whatever you have handy. And so you're just gonna take your balloon, stretch it out really, 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 really good. Stick it onto your funnel and you're gonna fill it up. You tie it off so it'll look something like this. Cut the tip off and draw your face, however you're feeling that day. And go squeeze, 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 squeeze. That's all you do. And it's a lot of fun. This one here is lentil beans. You can probably see a little bit of difference there. Um, I really like the flour just because it's real soft, real soft. So anyway, like, like she said, those, those directions will be online for you. So basically all you need is your balloon, a Sharpie, a funnel and to fill it whatever you like. And that'll be it. You'll have your own little stretch ball. I love them. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you, Miss Christy. That looks so fun. I can't wait yeah. to get home today and make one. So I wanted to leave you with some great resources that we have as ebooks with our um, that you can access with your library card at home. If you use our Libby or Overdrive app. Um, it's also on Cloud Library. There's a great picture book. It's called Grumpy Bird, and it's by Jeremy Tankard. And it's all about the cutest little bird on the cover, but he wakes up and he's feeling grumpy. Have you ever felt grumpy in the morning? I'm sure you have. But he's able to shake his mood, and that's the important message. So it's a really great book to share with the kids. Also on Libby, is a book that's very similar. It's called The Bad Seed and it's by Jory John and it's about a seed again. He is grumpy and how he works through those emo emotions. If you like to use Hoopla, if you just go into the search bar and type in feelings, there are so many nonfiction titles to explore with each of the feelings. There's one about being angry, one about being sad, one about being jealous. And there's a lot of different levels. So if you even have older kids, there's some uh, comic book uh, type books on there that, that explore those emotions and are really good. If you don't yet have an FCPL uh, library card, 
you can now receive a temporary digital library card by visiting our website at fcpl.org. And just a reminder, we are in the middle, almost wrapping up the spring reading challenge that's going on right now. And we've added a lot of new activities related to our Braver, Stronger, Smarter Kids learning track. It's got a ton of resources and activities to help caregivers navigate this unique time in history with their family. Again, thank you so much for joining FCPL's virtual programming today and have a beautiful day. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>